Fear not, for I am with you, declares the Lord. Arise and meet them. Freedom is not obtained unless we go after it. Freedom must be earned. The harvest is plentiful. The workers are to be an ambassador of mine. I had a dream as a child. I was dressed in white shorts. I sat on a white horse. In my right arm, there was a double-edged sword. In my left arm, there was a double-edged sword. In front of me stood the enemies of Allah, the Jews and the Christians. Their elite start coming at me. And I start taking their head off. Their head was rolling at the feet of Allah. And that day, I was martyred. I remember when I went to my first assault camp, the steel on that gun, the way it smelled. He took the machine gun, he choked it, and he said, now, shoot. I knew that I was transformed. We learned how to shoot airplanes. We learned how to disable tanks. How to uh, make bombs. From how to even slit throats. This is when I was seven years old. I felt the power. I'm chosen, I'm selected. I thought to myself, maybe I could be that man, that I can change the world. I can conquer Jerusalem. I can open her for my people. This is our land after all. Libya is trying to get me to work for them. Iraq trying to get me to Syria work for them. trying to get me to work. For My them. heart desire is to see the great giant of infidel to be dead. And that great giant is America. In order to conquer the enemy, you have to become like the enemy. Learn their language, culture, learn how they eat, speak, how they move. My goal was to take people just like you, Christian and Jews, and convert them to Islam. And these in return will become giants. I used to go to the high school, colleges, the prison system. These people has nobody to take care of them. You tell them Allah sent you. I didn't have to sell it. I was driving down the street. As I was driving in left lane, this guy came from right lane and a truck came and hit me head on. The only thing that I had inside of me is confusion now. I felt maybe Allah is mad with me. These kids are now speaking to me, touching me, loving me, and praying for me in their little voices. The Jesus prayer, you know, that I be healed. Now remember, Allah is not God of relationships. But all of a sudden, I want a relationship with Him. I thought I will seek Allah and see what Allah has to say. I fell in front of the window. And I put my hands up in heaven. I said, Allah, Allah, Rabbi wa Mawlai, my Lord and my King, why did you do this to me? Allah! Allah, speak to me. I will kill more people. I will change the world for you. I'll make more Muslim for you. Speak to me. Let me know that you are real. And guess what this time Allah said? Absolutely nothing.